Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure to get a thumbs up. On the screen are today's shoutouts. Thank you all so much for your comments and your support. If you also want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, turn notifications on, and there's 20 people to comment hashtag chillification squad once you've done that. You guys, can you believe it? Learning Express has mystery fidget boxes, and it's mystery. So you guys, I think I'm gonna get this. It looks like there can be DNA balls, symbol dimples, poppets, and so many other fidgets. You have to pick which, which one to get. Okay, Sarah, help me pick out which one we should get. Hmm. Come on. This one? This one? Yeah, it says over 100 sensory choices discovered. What is that? We're about to find out. So, okay, sorry, get it. I feel like let's get this one. I yeah, let's get, let's get it. Maybe it's lucky. Hopefully. All right. All righty. Guys, it's $25, so it better be worth our bucks. Okay, you guys, we just secured the bag. Sarah, aren't you excited? Oh my gosh, look at look at this. Hey guys, so we are back at home and we'll be unboxing the mystery fidget box. Okay, you guys, so it says unwrap to discover 21 pieces of fidget toys. You guys, I'm so excited. Look at all these fidgets on the box. And I've seen other YouTubers such as Purple Star to unbox and find tons of cool fidgets. Now let's open this. I got my handy dandy scissors and let's dive in. I have no idea what's in here. Hopefully we don't get scammed, you know? Okay, the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Huh? Oh, I'm smart, you guys. There's more tape. Now the moment of truth. Bruh. You guys, another pouch. Imagine if there's another bag in this. You guys, I feel like a spy opening this. Real moment of truth. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys. There's so many fidgets here. Wow. Okay, you guys, I can't wait to begin. You guys, look how many fidgets there are, and I can already tell there are some unique ones that I don't have. Okay, let's dive in. I'm super excited. So let's start off with the poppet. I don't have a poppet like this. It's a octagon poppet and it's rainbow. I'm so excited, look at that. And I love how it's like organized by row. It's not like just tie dye. Okay, then there's this soccer ball stress ball. It's actually a good stress ball. All the stress balls like this I've had, they're super hard and hard to squish, but this one is actually really good. I like this one a lot. You know what? I'm already gonna start rating this. I'm gonna rate this a nine out of 10. Okay, I genuinely don't know where to begin. Okay, we'll start off right here with this dimple spinner. Okay, so it has this black, really pretty color, and it has like these neon highlighter colors. I love this neon yellow. Whoa, and this orange and pink. Ooh, love that. And you guys, look at it. It even comes with like a keychain thing, so you can attach this to your backpack. I'm not really sure how to attach this though, but that's a neat touch. Okay, now let's spin it. Ooh, really nice. It's a two-in-one fidget since it's a dimple and a spinner. I'm gonna rate this, you know what? A 10 out of 10, great start off. Okay, then right here we have this orange mini pop tube. There's only one. Let's see. Oh wow, that was loud. You guys, make sure to get this for your next alarm clock. And look, look how much there is left. Is this the one where it's a bracelet? Oh, no, you guys, you know Dollar Tree has pop tubes that are a bracelet and like this. You guys, this one is like extra loud. Like I'm not kidding. Mm, I actually don't really like this. It's kind of also hard to like put back together. I'm gonna rate this an eight out of 10, not a fan. Now let's open up this red snapper. I actually have other snappers, but I realize I don't have one that's a plain color. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is such a good snapper, better than any ones I have. Whoa, love this so much. And I love this like matte effect on it. Okay, 10 out of 10 right here. Love this, Mwah, chef kiss. How you, I don't know how to do it, okay. Moving on, <gasps> whoa, okay, I saw this in someone's video. This, I really, really wanted this. Guys, when getting this box, this is the fidget toy that I wanted most. It's so unique. So it has these like rings. I don't even know how this works, really. Just like spin it. <gasps> oh my gosh, I am literally amazed. You guys, I could literally wash this all day. Hopefully, am I doing this right? Whoa, you guys, you know what? Because I got this, this mystery box is worth it. I love this so much. That's literally so satisfying to look at. Hopefully I'm even doing it right. Whoa. 11 out of 10 right here. Love the colors, love everything about this. Okay, next up we have two marble meshes. This really cute gray color. I've literally never seen a marble mesh like this. Okay, I love it, it's super good. You know, just a standard marble mesh, 10 out of 10. Then right here we have this neon hot pink color. 
Really good, it's just like the gray one. Also 10 out of 10, great. Okay, now we have this monkey candle. I have one just like this. You guys, this one is so cute and it even has a little unicorn face on it. What could be better than that? I love this cyan color. Wait, what is this? It has a little like hole here. Maybe you could also attach it, you know, using this like keychain thing, who knows? Love this a lot and it had it's textured. You can like stretch it like that. 10 out of 10, love this so much. Alrighty, now we have two of like the standard monkey noodles. They're super nyani, love them so much. Okay, perfect. They're just like standard monkey noodles. I'm gonna write these a 10 out of 10. Yeehaw, I'm gonna try to like lasso it. Okay, that totally works. <laughs> okay, now let's look at this. <gasps> you guys, no, I'm so upset. We got a pee popper. I really wanted the, you know, the peanut one because I don't have one of those. I really wanted one of these peanut poppers with like the yellow peanuts in it, but we got a pee popper instead. Okay, well, that's fine, but I just really wanted that. You know, ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Oh, well, let's see how good this is. This pea popper is pretty good. Some of the pea poppers are really hard to squish, but this one is decent. I'm going to rate this one an 8 out of 10 because I'm still kind of mad that we didn't get the peanut one. Okay, now we have the spike balls. We got an orange one and a yellow one. What is this? Okay. Oh, you guys, look, there's a tiny malfunction here because it's like stuck together. There's like this little extra piece, but that's okay. Okay, these are really nice spike balls. Yeah, I think they're great. I'm gonna rate them a 9.5 out of 10 just because these aren't like my favorite fidget, but these are still really good. And I love to like massage my hand with it. <gasps> Wait, you guys, I totally didn't see this. We literally got a DNA ball. Okay, let's open this up right now. Oh my gosh, whoa. You guys, it looks like a little cell membrane. Like if you're learning about cells in school, you would know what I mean. But like, look at this. Okay, it smells a lot like rubber. <coughs> I shouldn't have smelled that. <coughs> okay, I love these little like neon balls in it. And it kind of reminds me of like the top of a gumball. Ready, three, two, one. Ooh, I like this one so much. You guys, this is like my favorite DNA ball ever. It's so, so squishy and look at it, it's so clear. It's literally like a balloon or like a bubble. Okay, love this so, so much. You guys, I'm rating this 11 out of 10. Definitely like one of my favorite DNA balls ever. Look at these, neon beautiful. Okay, next we have this thing right over here. I have like something like this, but it's miniature version. And you guys, I still couldn't figure out how to use this. So I guess let's try to figure out how to do it now. Wait, I actually did it. I did something. Oh yeah, it's one of these puzzles. I actually managed to take something out. You guys applaud for me. Okay, well, I guess I only got one out, but yeah, this is one of the puzzles. Personally, I don't really count these as fidgets. I guess since they're in this mystery box, we'll say it's a fidget. I'm gonna rate this a four out of 10, but comment down below if you know how to use this. Okay, let's try to put it back in, there we go. Okay, next right here, we have this beautiful black colored infinity cube. Okay, let's open it up. Ooh, I love like this effect it gives since it's like all black. Whoa, it's, why do I keep doing that? I keep smelling it. Okay, it smells very plasticky because it's fresh and new and I kind of like that. Okay, really nice infinity cube. It's a little bit loose though. You know how there are some infinity cubes that are loose and some that are like kind of stiff? This one's definitely one of the looser ones. Really nice infinity cube, nine out of 10. Solid, literally solid. Wait, you guys, there's a tangle. Okay, so also right here, there's a tangle. Now let's open this one up. Love this so much. Okay, it has this blue, red, and orange color. Okay, this def tingle is definitely stiff. It's pretty nice, but I think it's a little bit too stiff. And it's not textured. It has like really nice smooth texture. I love that a lot. And you guys, I realized a lot of the stuff here is like matching. Like you could totally match with this. This would be perfect for my fidget training videos. You guys check those out. They're linked down below. But you guys, I like these so much. You know what? I think I'm gonna rate this tingle a nine out of 10 just cause it is a little bit too stiff for my liking, but it's still a solid tingle. You guys, it seems like there's so many fidgets in here. Okay, next up there's this little maze thing. I don't really know you guys, comment below if you think this is a fidget. Okay, so there's this like, ah, okay. Note to self, don't drop this next time cause it definitely could break. Oh, you guys look, there's a tiny little metal ball in there. It just like left. Hey, where'd it go? Okay, you can obviously hear it in here. So, there's this little like a clear case around the maze. And yeah, you're supposed to get the metal ball, I think, to like the finish line. 
this is pretty cool i don't know if this is a fidget yeah comment down below what you think i don't really know where the finish line is but you guys i'll definitely figure out how this works later i'm not the biggest fan so i'll rate this like a six out of ten okay then right here we have this red where okay no blue and green wacky track really nice just like a snake you know plain solid wacky track like this a lot but this this is one of the more basic colors the green and blue i like to see this color a lot so i'm this like an 8.5 out of 10 just because because it is a little bit plain but it's a really good wacky track hey, you guys i need to make a heart out of this because i love you guys so let's do that right now hey not the best heart but you know it's it's the thought that counts <sighs> Okay, you guys, wait, I totally, I didn't open the actual poppet, like the biggest thing here. Okay, let's move this stuff to the side because, you know, this is the star of the show. Wait, I actually missed this too. Okay, so here we have the poppet. It's an octagon, like rainbow colors. Okay, let's do this. I'm pretty sure this is the bad side. Whoa, even the bad side is really, really good. Although it's actually sometimes a little hard to pop because it pops back up, but, you know, it feels good. Okay, here's the good side. Listen for the ASMR. This poppet is like actually pretty good. It does smell really rubbery because it is new. That's the good thing. It's actually kind of good though because that means all these fidgets are like brand fresh and new. The good side was pretty good. So I am going to rate this fidget a 9 out of 10, like 9.5 out of 10. It's still really, really good. I love this purple color here. Okay, you guys, I didn't see this earlier, but there's a blue bike chain right here. It was like so small, it was like hidden somewhere. So let's see, you guys. Okay, it's really nice, solid bike chain. Love this like little dark blue color right there. Okay, nice, nice. Not broken in any way, shape, or form. So yeah, I'm gonna rate this one a 9.5 out of 10. 10 out of 10, actually. I don't need to be like petty with those 0.5 points. Okay, let's just make sure we didn't miss anything. You guys see anything? No, okay, good. Thank you for responding. And yeah, so you guys, now just to double check, I'm gonna go ahead and count all of these fidgets to make sure that we got 21 fidgets because I don't wanna get scammed. Let's see if this thing was correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You guys, the box didn't lie. We indeed did get 21 fidgets. Oh, and this little chain thing, which I still don't know how to attach. So I just laid out all the fidgets we got here today. Would I recommend buying this box? Yes. Would it be an excellent birthday gift? Yes. Overall, I think this box was great. Love the experience. It's mystery. If you decide to get this box, hopefully you don't get scammed. But yeah, my favorite fidget was probably this spinny thing. You guys, comment down below what is this called because this is literally some sorcery here, right here. I love this so much. I could literally play with this all day. And then the DNA ball was my number two favorite fidget. Yeah, comment down below which fidget toys was your favorite. If I, I gotta say, this is probably the best thing that you could buy at Learning Express. But that was pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and it'd be super awesome if you'd subscribe. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in my next video.